G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video, I've got a Salesforce Marketing Cloud tip and trick. This time, how to recreate or duplicate data extensions in Contact Builder really quickly using a little trick in Chrome. So here's the use case for having to replicate a data extension multiple times. You may have an SQL process which segments down your main customer view of your data into smaller bite-sized sendable chunks so that your marketing team can easily pick up the right segment and send them an email without having to do additional filtration or SQL activities. For example, you may have your main customer view and below that a yes to marketing view and below that a preference view and below that a campaign view, which of course means you have to build a few different data extensions. Now conventionally, you could jump into Marketing Cloud and I've got here my sample rows data extension. I could jump in and create a new data extension and use that sample rows data extension as a template to build a new one from. So for example, use existing sample rows. And I can say this is now sample rows B. Next, next and create, and that is my new version created. Now that's okay for a few data extensions, but if you have to make a lot more, that can be a pretty tedious task. So let me show you another way you can do it using a little hack in Chrome. So let's replay that step now, but let's not do it in Email Studio. We're now gonna do it instead in the Contact Builder. So I'll jump over into Contact Builder and load up our data extension screen in Contact Builder. The process is very similar. We could go into our Contact Builder data extensions and we could keep duplicating the data extension manually. Alternatively, I'll show you what we can do. So I'll jump into my folder, I've got my sample rows here, and we will create a new data extension as we did before. Create a new one based on existing. We'll navigate through our data extensions, through to our location here, oops, there it is there. And we'll pick up our sample rows and go done. We'll leave it all the same, but of course we'll call this one sample rows B, just like that. We'll go next and next. Now before we press complete, I'm gonna press F12 on my Windows machine to open up my Chrome developer tools. In this view, I'm gonna to go to the network tab. I'm gonna make sure the fetch XHR is showing. Now I'll scroll back down and press complete. As you can see, a custom objects call was made, completing that row. Go OK, I can see that post call has occurred. I'm gonna right click on that custom object post call. I'm going to copy, I'm gonna jump down here and copy the fetch. Now I can jump into console. In my console, I can change my layer that I'm operating the console from top. This is the MC exact target location. I'm going to scroll right down towards the bottom. I'm going to look for the admin.html in the marketingcloudapps.com location. I'll choose that one and it should come through. You can see it there. I'll then in my console, I'm going to paste that copied fetch. You can see here, here is the payload of all those fields that were created as part of that call. Now if I scroll up slightly, I'll find here in my body section, the input activity, sample rows B. I'll change to sample rows C and press enter. It's then going to make that call and post to create that sample rows C data extension. I can paste again, scrolling up and going back again, finding my sample rows B. I've done C, now it's D. Press enter, paste again from D, let's do E, paste again, and from E we'll do F. Now obviously it's not really showing on our screen right now, but if I was to refresh this view or go back into Email Studio, and I'll find in my public folder, I now have sample rows B, C, D, E, F, all created very quickly because of that post call that I was using in the Chrome console section, replaying that activity over and over again and recreating that data extension. Now, I don't expect that many of you will have a use case for this particular little feature, but if you ever do have to create a few dozen data extensions and you'd rather not have to go and do some WS proxy uh, or use the package manager to re-import those data extensions, then at least you now know there's another trick where you can very, very quickly replicate the same data extension structure over and over again. And so I hope you enjoyed this quick tip inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud. If you have, then please let me know with a big thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.